Integrating live video streaming into your business requires the use of a REST API. We've made it easy to test your Wowza Video REST API requests with Postman. Start by getting your access token in Wowza Video. In the menu bar, click on your username and choose Account Settings. Under the API Access tab, in the blue box for Wowza API Authentication is Changing, select the link listed for Token Management. It's here that we'll be able to add a new personal token. You can use the personal access token you create for testing, and as you won't be able to see this information again after you leave the page, be sure to copy the token for safekeeping. Next, you'll need to download the Open API spec. This can be found at api.docs.video.wowza.com. We'll most likely want the current version of the API, so once selected for the dropdown, you can then download the Open API specification. Now we'll import this into Postman. From the home screen, we'll choose to import an existing file. With the import window available, we can locate the downloaded JSON file and drag it into the import window. Before importing, be sure generate collection from imported APIs is checked. Link this collection as test suite is chosen from the dropdown. And under advanced settings, we'll also want to be sure that request parameter generation is set to be example, folder organization is set to be tags, and disable optional parameters has been enabled. The import process may take some time, and once it's complete, we'll need to add in the access token. From Collections, select the Wowza Video REST API reference documentation, and from the Authorizations tab, we'll choose Bearer Token for the type. Then we can enter the token. Copy the access token as needed. If you left the token management page open, you may still be able to copy the access token there. Once you've pasted it in, also be sure to save the information. Okay, that's it. Now you're able to test the API requests to your Wowza video account with Postman. You can verify this by going under live underscore stream and test by creating a live stream. Under the body tab, you can first verify the parameters of the request to create the live stream and then send it. A successful request will get a 201 created response. And as we created a live stream named My Live Stream, we can also go into Wowza Video and check that the available stream was created. All right, well, I hope this helps you learn more about what can be done with the Wowza Video REST API. And for more help, please check out our detailed API video series at Wowza.